Now that we've looked at how to run XQuery and XSLT code in MarkLogic Server, let's start interacting with the documents in our database. MarkLogic provides a number of convenient ways to load and interact with documents in the database, including the new Information Studio application. For this tutorial, we'll use MarkLogic's web dev interface, which effectively exposes the directory structure in our database as a directory in our file system. As a developer, I found the web dev interface to be very convenient, giving me a uniform way to access both my code and my data using my favorite text editor. To enable web dev, we need to create a web dev server in the administrative interface. As when setting up the app server, let's make sure we use an available port. 8004 isn't taken, so let's use it. We click the Create Web Dev tab at the top, which opens the form for creating a web dev server. First, as with the app server, we have to come up with a name for our web dev server. Next, we choose a value for our web dev server's root directory. Now, unlike our app server, this refers to the database directory structure, not the file system. To expose all of the documents in our database over web dev, let's type slash, signifying the root of our database's directory structure. Next, we enter the port number, 8004. Just as with app servers, each web dev server is associated with a database. Our app server is already associated with the default database called Documents, so we'll stick with that choice for our web dev server too. Finally, leaving all the other fields at their defaults, let's click OK. Everything looks good, so let's try connecting. In Windows, you can connect using Explorer, but since I'm on a Mac, I'll use Finder. I hit Command-K to open the Connect to Server dialog, type in my server URL, and enter my admin username and password. I've now successfully connected. If you're connecting for the first time and the folder is empty, it means your database doesn't have any documents in it yet. In that case, you can drag and drop XML documents into this window, just like any other folder. As you can see, I've already populated my database with the complete plays of Shakespeare. My web dev connection enables me to interact with documents in the database, just as I do with code on the server, using my favorite text editor. Here I am viewing hamlet.xml in my text editor. Okay, let's connect our code to our data. First, we'll change transform.xqy so it applies XSLT to a document in our database, hamlet.xml. We'll use the doc function to retrieve it by its URI, slash hamlet.xml. Next, let's make a slight addition to page.xsl so it actually does something with the input data. In this case, we'll just display the full text of the play inside a pre-tag to preserve white space. Rerunning transform.xqi shows our complete result. In the next video, we'll look at how to make our transform script more general by using request parameters.